You're live. Hey guys, uh, here for another episode of Facebook Live over at Absolutely Fish. Um, today we're going to be discussing our uh, new biopod system. So this is a uh, brand new all-in-one um, system. Uh, they call it a micro ecosystem. Uh, and basically what it is is a paludarium setup. So we have a um, moss wall in the back here along with a uh, elevated platform. Now this is, uh, and then we have a water section on the bottom here. So this is basically uh, set up for mainly air plants. Um, and the cool thing about this, well, we'll be talking about a few of the cool features involving this system because it's actually pretty sophisticated. There's yeah. a lot of uh, little gadgets and everything in here. So um, It's really impressive. Yeah, so we're pretty excited. Uh, this is a um, relatively new uh, item to the market. This is the Biopod uh, Aqua model. They do make a few other ones. There's the Biopod Terra, which does not feature a water portion. There's the Biopod Aqua 2, which is basically a larger version of this. Uh, and then they make the Eden and Grand, which are basically variations of these. Um, Biopod says hi. Hi, Bi Biopod. <laughs> hey, Biopod. <laughs> Great product. So Yeah, yeah we really like it. Very, very happy to have this in the store. Um, so the first uh, cool thing I'm going to go over with would be uh, pretty much what's more or less the filtration on this system. Uh, there is uh, what's called an irrigation system. Um, it's pumping water. The camera might not be able to pick it up because it's kind of dark. It's a little but dark, but yeah. There is a grate in the back there with a pump. Um, the water is being pumped through that grate um, and actually through the moss wall in the back. Uh, so the way you get the moss wall started is there's actually several, um, it's a grid pretty much with cells in it. You fill it up with sphagnum moss uh, and that kind of acts as your base, your substrate for um, planting your other plants in there. Um, what the sphagnum moss also does is it holds moisture. So uh, if you actually come around the side here, we have the irrigation mode on right now. Um, so you can actually see some water dripping out from that moss. Um, and it's dripping from a few other spots, but they're a little smaller where the camera might not pick it up as well. Uh, so this is essentially uh, watering the plants on the back there. So um, what we planted, a few air plants in the back there, hopefully everything. Uh, we just planted this one out uh, two days ago. So um, nothing's really had an uh, opportunity to grow in or anything. So. Uh, over the next few weeks, next few months, we're pretty excited to see how it's going to turn out. Um, but yeah, so the uh, irrigation system is watering everything in the back there. What we have in our um, kind of land portion here is we put a uh, coconut fiber mat on the bottom. You can uh, kind of see it on the side. Yeah, yeah. that's a, a, our base more or less. Uh, on top of that, we did uh, Tropica aqua soil. Um, one to kind of hold some moisture in there for the plants and uh, two to you know give them a substrate to root into. Um, so this base part is actually removable um, if you did want to take advantage of the um, kind of uh, water portion a little bit more uh, mm -hmm. and wanted to focus more on air plants you can actually remove that. Um, so that's the irrigation system. Now that acts, uh, like I said before, more or less as the filter of the tank. Um, as the water is filtered uh, through the sphagnum moss, that is going to allow the plants to haul um, nitrogenous waste and uh, you know other impurities out of the water. So one thing we did notice when we set up this tank that it cleared up very, very quickly. Um, and I think that's mostly to the fact of the uh, living wall in the back. Uh, the next cool thing about this tank that we could show you is the aeration system, which that one's really hard to see. There is an air pump in the back that is actually um, aerating the water a little bit. Yeah, at not the gonna moment. show up on the camera. Yeah, so I figured that wasn't gonna show up on the camera. Um, but there is an aeration system. There is actually, um, now that I'll open this up, there is, what I like is there's a, a lock up top here, especially uh, for our purposes in the store. We really don't want customers, um, you know, open this up and poking around in here. So there's a lock on this portion. So 
switch, switch that, and then this all opens up over here to give you full access to everything. Um, and it's a little, this you obviously can't tell on camera, but it is very good at keeping a micro environment. You can tell uh, just from sticking your hand in here that the humidity, the heat is, um, you know, significantly higher than is in the rest of the store. Uh, but what I was going to point out is the ventilation system here. So um, what this will do is one, uh, introduce fresh air into the uh, micro environment. And then also two, it'll prevent these uh, front glass from uh, fogging up on you. Uh, while I have this open, I'll point out the lighting and um, the misting system. So these uh, misters up top are scheduled to rain twice a day. Um, you can set the duration of how much it you know, will rain. There's a reservoir in the back that you fill separately from the main uh, tank. So um, you, know, you basically want to fill that with uh, remineralized uh, reverse osmosis water. Um, I would suggest doing that on top of or instead of tap water, just so you avoid um, you know excess minerals building up. I would assume those will probably clog up the nozzles over time. Uh, hopefully they'll shoot on while we're doing the video. I have them scheduled to click on in about two minutes, so hopefully we'll be able to catch that in the video. Um, to go over some of the uh, aquatic life that we have in here, um, we have some endlers. We planted a lot of uh, lower light live plants, um, just because the we're trying to keep this relatively low maintenance. So we didn't want to put any plants that would need a ton of extra care or anything like that. Um, and then also to the light with the base plate in there. It's not incredibly strong on the bottom portion. Uh, but um, before I get really into any of the other plants and animals in this tank, I probably want to show off uh, the coolest thing about this setup. Um, everything that I've talked about, the lighting, um, the misters, the irrigation pump, uh, the aeration pump, that is all uh, completely automated through their app. Uh, so we have their app out right here on our tablet, just to give you uh, an idea of how it will um, appear when you buy this system. So we have our UV A and B running at 100%, our um, infrared running at 100%, um, and basically this is how you'll control the lighting. We have our sunrise set to 9 a.m. and our sunset set to 8 p.m. So if you hit up lighting, Sorry, I'm, this tablet's not that great, so there's a, sometimes a bit of a delay when you're pulling stuff up here. If you do go to lighting, oh. that darn waterproof cover. Yeah, it's uh. We actually have a question here from a viewer. Oh yeah, uh, Is this type of tank good for crested geckos? Um, yeah, it is a suitable size for uh, crested geckos. Um, I, you probably only want to keep, I, I'm not an expert at crested geckos, uh, some of the people here have kept them, I would assume you probably really only want to keep one in this size tank. I would agree. Um, and make sure you definitely, if you were going to keep crested in here, make sure you have a lot of access in case the crested was to like, say, fall in the water, uh, you'd want to make sure that the animal could get out. Well, while we're waiting for the app to load up. Um, I'll go over the lighting real quick again, since I just realized I kind of skipped over that. The lighting is very cool. Like I said, there is UV and infrared all built in over here. Um, it's LED lighting, so you don't really need to uh, worry about... Um, you don't need to worry about, uh, you know, replacing the bulbs or maintenancing them in any way. I gotta say this thing's really, this whole exhibit is really sharp and it, and it really just like reminds me of almost like a public zoo or aquarium all in one with the whole ecosystem like this. This is a yeah, very um, nice display. Uh, I actually set this one up personally um, and I have to tell you I've never set up a system anything like this before. Um, I've never set up a system with air plants or anything like that um, and it was very, very easy. Um, from opening up the box to getting it fully planted out, probably took two hours of time. So um, 
for even someone who is a um, you know has no idea what they're doing it's a very very simple um, Biopod also does put a lot of very, very helpful videos um, online, so I personally ended up watching a lot of those to figure out how to set up this system. Um, but to give you an example of kind of like what we've set up similar to this before in the past, nothing quite as elaborate. So from going from something like this to Boom. something like this, um, for us personally, it really was not that hard. So, okay. And now the light, now everything is to, wants to work. So, just to give you an idea, this is how you would select the ground temperature, the air temperature. So, uh, basically, here's what we have it for day, and then uh, the night. How do you, uh, what's controlling the ground temperature in this? So, um, basically, there are, um, there's a small heater. And the uh, heat probe in the bottom, mm -hmm. uh, along with a temperature probe. Very cool. Um, same thing goes with at the top there. Oh yeah, there's so your probes right up in the and corner. Temperature. Um, and then the coolest, one of the coolest things about this would be uh, the video. Oh yeah, there's a camera in here. Is there so not? there is actually a small um, live camera. Uh, it's 720p. That's pretty uh, impressive. So it's pretty high depth. We have noticed that there is like a 20 to 30 second delay on it. So it's live with a with a slight delay, but it is very, very cool to be able to access a camera within uh, your own uh, tank. So especially for anybody who wants to show off their tank when they're out um, at work or out not at home. So basically, this is the image that we get from our camera. Uh, pretty cool. Yeah, so uh, considering that's a standard feature, definitely yeah. cool. So very, very cool. First time I've ever seen a built-in camera included in a all-in-one setup like this. Um, but uh, show off the app real quick again. Um, all this stuff on the bottom here, irrigation, aeration, ventilation. This is all the stuff I discussed before. So. Um, currently I have that all running um, just consistently just so it would be running for the video. Uh, the rain hopefully will kick on any minute now. Um, but uh, very, very cool system. As far as the plants go in there, uh, we did add the fully aquatic plants on the bottom section. Uh, That's mostly Crips, uh, Anubias, uh, some Wisteria, some Creeping Charlie. Uh, a few mosses, so very, very basic, easy to keep stuff. Um, the top portion, uh, majority of the plants that are in the top portion um, were actually sent to us uh, by Biopod. We actually have another question. Oh yes, of course. Uh, we have a question from Vera. Can I do that for a betta fish? Can I put a betta fish in a tank like this? Yeah, actually one of, um, I'll go into kind of what we're going to be stocking this tank with in a second, but um, one of the things we were thinking about would be uh, setting it up for uh, some betas. Some uh, female betas maybe? Yeah, possibly like a beta sorority or we were thinking just one nice showpiece male beta. Um, yeah, I, a beta would totally be fine in here. This bottom portion is uh, 9.6 gallons. Uh, so. You know, most fish that would be fine in a 10 gallon and under tank would be just fine in here. Um, because there is no um, carbon or no real sponge filtration running on the tank, uh, I would probably advise keeping it on the lightly stocked side. I wouldn't yeah, too, uh, heavily stock it. Um, no fish that are going to be uh, very big or incredibly messy or anything like that. Uh, so what we're actually stocking our tank with would be uh, Endlers, Live Bears. We're hoping to maybe get them to breed in here. Um, like I said, we're trying to kind of make this as like a little micro environment. Uh, so we do have freshwater clams in here. Uh, we have a, d a few different species of snails in here right now. Yeah, you see some gold mysteries. As well as, um, they're all hiding right now, but we do have a few different species of shrimp in here at the moment too. I think I caught a cherry shrimp on camera earlier. Um, what we are hoping to uh, eventually stock the land portion of the tank with uh, are called uh, purple vampire crabs, which I will actually pull. Up. We don't have any at the moment, but I can actually pull up a picture for you guys here. 
Yeah, that'd be pretty cool to see them uh, so these hanging out are a uh, semi-aquatic species of crab um, from Southeast Asia. We're hoping put maybe a dozen or so in here um, and uh, we think it'll be a pretty good environment for them. Uh, and as far as the plants on the top, like I said, they were all sent uh, from us through Biopod. Uh, with quite any, beautiful, really. Yes, um, the plants they send us were pretty amazing, actually. Um, they sent a lot more than I was expecting. They were a lot bigger than I was expecting, so very, very happy with the plants. Um, and if you buy any Biopod, the, the plant uh, pack actually comes included. Uh, with the price of the biopods, so you'll get a, um, a rebate code to get the plants. Very good. We have uh, two questions. Oh, yeah, um, of course. One from Laura. Any chance a small turtle would work? Um, I wouldn't set this up for a turtle. I don't think the filtration's really the filtration's set up not to really handle gonna it. Be hand I don't think the filtration would really handle a turtle. Um, also, even the smallest species of turtles generally get three to four inches in size, um, which would be pretty large for a small tank like this. You would really want like a 20, 30 gallon tank for a turtle. I would agree with the big canister filter. And another one from Jonathan, uh, do you get Rotala mini butterflies? We do, uh, yeah. Actually, we can get that um, uh, on occasion from our um, supplier Tropica. Uh, they generally come in as a tissue culture plant. Uh, but yeah, I have uh, gotten that in on occasion before. Cool. Yeah, and if there's no more questions, um, we have one more thing that we'd like to show off. Uh, we got a new pet for the store. Uh, I don't know if any of you have been tuning in uh, to any of our last Facebook posts or anything, but um, we have our Diamondback Terrapin, which I'll show off to you guys real quick. Let's make sure we lock that up. Like I said, I love this lock on here. Brittany, I want a biopod too, after seeing this. Everybody here wants one now, now that we have them in here. So, this is uh, Stormy, our Diamondback Terrapin. Uh, so we received this from the Great Bay Terrapin Project. We've been working with them for a few years now. Um, so this is Stormy's new permanent home. Um, we're actually, hopefully we plan on doing a water change on this tank today. We're starting to get a little algae building up on the sand, but Storm is loving it. Uh, he's very, very happy. Uh, we're very happy to have him here. He's a great, um, great animal to have as a way to, uh, you know, show people the, uh, you know, wildlife we have in New Jersey and kind of what, the reason why we do some of the stuff we do. We have one more question from Craig. How many biopods are you running in-house? Right now, we just have one. Uh, we're probably going to stick with that one just because we don't have a ton of room for multiples. We would love to have multiples. We're probably going to keep this one as a display um, just to give people an example of what they can do. Um, but if anyone is interested in biopods, we can get them in. Um, we can get the various sizes in, so if anyone's uh, interested, feel free to give us a call or to email the store. Um, but yeah, biopods are very cool. We're hoping that it's uh, kind of like next wave of the uh, you know industry and caldariums and everything. Very good. All right, and if uh, there's more questions, then uh, that's all we have for this week. Uh, tune in next week. We'll be doing another Facebook Live. And uh, again, I've been Paul. Thanks, and have a nice day.